Welcome to the Motor City. This is Comerica Park. Sunday baseball on the show. It's the Houston Astros and the Detroit Tigers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go now. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Matt Manning. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that he can keep yeah, a good tempo, don't give hitters the time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. The wind and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Strike two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Righty delivers. And now one and two. And that's outside. Two balls, two strikes. Oh, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Still two and two after the foul ball. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two two now. Swing and a miss struck him out. That was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at bat alive and. Hitters will tell you that slider when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision you don't want to get beat by a fastball and then you swing and you miss and you go back to the dugout shaking your head. One down base is empty. Swing and a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really stayed inside that baseball to send it to the opposite field. With the shift on to the pull side, that's an easy knock if you'll take it. Man at first with one gone. Kyle Tucker will hit next. Foul ball. Singy Kyle Tucker has done a little bit of everything. He's won a World Series. He's been an all-star. He's won a gold glove. And a guy who was the fifth overall pick in the 2015 draft. The 1 And Kerr drops in for a strike. He's been a guy that can kind of fly under the radar, but not so much anymore. Everyone's aware of the damage that he can do in that lineup. But the guy that's kind of old school, doesn't wear the batting gloves, just goes up there and rakes, got a great arm in the outfield as well. Definitely the pride of Plant High School in Tampa, Florida. Here's Jordan Alvarez. In there for strike one. Bregman, the runner at first with two gone. Two outs. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Next offering misses down and away. This to center field. Meadows drifts towards it. He's there. He's got it. And that's the inning. One left for Houston, and now the Tigers get their first opportunity. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show.
back at Comerica Park. And on the hill, Fromber Valdez. What do you have on him? Yeah, and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound. I mean, opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path. So they're taking the mound. This is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate, and I expect him to be good in this one. Matt Veerling leading things off and takes a strike. Bounced up the middle. Now Tuve handles it. Fires to first on the run. Not in time. He legs it out. Boogie doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. And when he does, that puts him in a position to do some damage. Put some pressure on the defense as well. His wheels are truly a weapon out there. And next to hit for Detroit, Andy Abanez. Snap throw to first. Hey. And he's back in there. Robert Valdez had a great 2022. An all-star and, of course, as well, his hey. Astros won the World Series. Hey. In there, and it's 0-1. Yeah, Boog, in an ERA of under three. Pitched over 200 innings and looks like they were easy innings for him. And finished fifth in the American League Cy Young Award voting. A one down. Hey. The 0-2. And that's the strikeout looking. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. Spencer Torkelson in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Now snap throw to first, and he's back standing. And the 1 0. That's out to center field. Alvarez in position. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Here's the catcher, Jake Rogers. The catcher. Rogers. Step off throw to first. Oh, Veerlin gets back easily. And there's a foul ball. Next pitch downstairs. And one and one. Line drive, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So two on with two away. Here's Riley Green. That clips the zone, and that is strike one. That's to third. Nice grab. Throw to second. Got him. Nice play. And that may have saved a run. Tigers strand a pair. We played an inning. No score. Back here in Detroit. New inning getting started. And now the DH, Gainer Diaz. Diaz.
Manning back to work. Just oh, off the out. outside edge. So two balls and no strikes. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Ripped to first, caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. So next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. One's in there, 0 1. Second inning here, no score. They say it went. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now two away. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Jose Abreu up to hit. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Oh. Jose Abreu, one of those guys with kind of a quirky number, number 79. It was a number his mother chose for him way back when. She said, pick a unique number and make it yours. That's a strike and a count one and one. High fly ball out at a left center field. Makes the grab on the run. And that is that. Astros are down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. Bottom we half of inning we'll number fight, two. Fight. And now the, the first, first baseman, baseman, Miguel Cabrera. Cabrera. And a pitch. Four. All one there. Counts one and oh. Next ball pitch there. misses. And that's ball two. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. He gets down a base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Now it's Zach Short. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Ball in one now. And that one ripped to left. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Batting it. Not shortstop. Now it's Javier Baez. Baez. And that one hammered. That's back. Gone. Javi Baez blasts one out. And they jump out front. It's 3 nothing.
Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. And next up for the Tigers, Parker Meadows. Good eye right there. Ball one, no strike. Left hand hitter waits. Lined, and that's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. He was all the over that base one. Base just a base. cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's going to be Matt Veerling. In the dirt, blocked. And no movement on the bases. It's ball one. Meadows on at first. Nobody out. He's going. The runner. kick in the pitch. Runner goes. That one to first. And that's just foul. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Not close with that one. Two balls, two strikes. And that misses off the outside edge. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a sweep. On a second, they get one. On to Jose Abreu. That's two. Well, a very fast developing play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. Andy Abanez getting ready to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And he deals. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The pitch. Ground ball right side. Play made. That ends the inning. Three run shot for the Tigers. It's now 3 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jeremy Pena. Jeremy. Jeremy Pena, Chris, what a story. 2022 and the impact he had in the playoffs. He was not only the ALCS MVP, but he was also the World Series MVP when the Astros won it all. Now fly ball to right center. Meadows gliding as he moves to his left. Brings it in with a nice running grab. One away. That is not the catch Martin Maldonado up to hit. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Maldonado in his 11th season, 36 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Next one misses, and it's 2-0. Next offering is fouled back. The 2-2 on the way. 
And another ball. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. <laughs> Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. And he walked him. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we now gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. In the air, right field. Devonez makes the grab, and there are two down. The third base is number two, Alex Bregman. And now it's Alex Bregman. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. Bregman measures six feet even, batting second in today's lineup, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. Swing and a pop up, foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. That misses. One ball, one strike. One ball, one strike. The one one is fouled off. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. Yep, that ball went Next out. pitch is outside. Two and two. This one popped up. And that's a fair ball. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Short with a relay throw. Not going to get him. He's in there. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Kind of your classic jam shot blooper right there. Paid a good pitch on the inside. Gotten to hit it off the handle, but he still muscled it out there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. Here's Kyle Tucker. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That misses. 1 and 0. Oh. Kyle's brother Preston got a little bit of time in the big leagues. Pretty good left-handed hitter. Played his college ball at the University of Florida. Good eye right there. Two balls, no strike. Second and third, two down. This one rip, but foul to the right. The 2 1. There's the swing and a miss. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that. Now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Two left for the Astros. They trail it here, 3 0. Set for the bottom of the third. Now it's the DH, Spencer Torkelson. Valdez back to work. And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. The catcher, number 34. Roger. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers and he's already singled in this game Rogers, 
pitch misses inside and that is ball one. Just missed. The wind of the pitch. And that's in for a strike. That one finds the corner. And now two and two. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Now that So two down now. And here is Riley Green. He's 0 for 1. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. That one pulled foul. The pitch. And there's a ball. Swing and a broken bat roller towards third. Grabs it barehanded. In time. Got him. This is a beautiful play. The bare hand grab at third. Throws off balance to first base to end the inning. If you play third base, it's got to be one of your favorite ones to watch. Back at Comerica Park as we go to the top the of the Senator fourth. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. He's a guy who does Alvarez. it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. First offering misses the mark. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. Because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. That one finds the zone. One and two. And now it's even up. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. And a pitch. Okay. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. 3-2. Hot shot to third. Throw on to Cabrera. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Up next, oh, yes. the designated hitter. Yainer. Next is the designated Diaz. hitter, Yainer Diaz. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Next one off the plate inside. And a count two and one. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Two two down. And now it's filled up. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Struck him out looking. And next to hit for Houston, Chaz McCormick. Struck out swinging his first time. Ball one, no strikes. And 
And a curve is down and in. The why to kick the pitch. Hey. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Kicks and deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. Comes a 2-2. He goes down looking. Astros go down one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. Back here at the ballpark, John Jobby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Miguel Cabrera. Cabrera. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to the left. To first. Oh. And Cabrera is retired. Now back. Second, second base. base. Zach. Short. And up next for Detroit, Zach Short. Singled and scored his first time. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He'll touch them all. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 4-0. You see how he stays square to the plate. He takes a breaking ball that's away, gets around it, gets it up in the air, and hits a long home run. Not exactly the way that you teach it in the cave, but you'll take the result. The batter now, Javier Baez. He had a big three-run homer in his first trip. Off the mark there. Ball one. Javier Baez, who hails from Puerto Rico, he was the ninth overall pick in 2011 by the Cubs and what a fun player to watch won the World Series in 2016 he was the NLCS MVP and of course on the cover of MLB the nope. show in 2020 Yeah, nearly won the MVP in 2018 when he finished runner up to Christian Yelich and it's about the only thing he hasn't been able to do Ball next three. offering is downstairs three and oh. hard hit right side Steps on first for the out. Up next is the Tigers. The center fielder, Parker. Meadows. Two outs, base is empty. And now, Parker Meadows. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. And that one got a piece of him. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point. Either. And next to hit for Detroit, Matt Veerling, one for two. And that's in there for strike one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distract. To first, and they've got him picked off. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Tigers add one to the lead on this homer. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Detroit, and now Jose Abreu. Jose. 
They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the That's top the of the list. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just missed. The pitch. That misses off the outside edge. And that's in for a strike. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one back. And out of here. Jose Abreu goes deep. And they've got their first run. It's 4-1. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Yeah, the batter now, Jeremy Pena. And there's the strike. Chris, here's a weird note, at least to me. Jeremy Pena is the first rookie shortstop to homer in the World Series. He did it in 2022. It had never been done before when he homered against the Phillies. Now this is in the air down the line. Devon Yates, as he glides to his left, snags it on the run, and there's one away. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Martin Maldonado up next for the Astros. He reached out a walk his first time. And he hits a ground ball right side. Throw on to Cabrera. Two down. Now back. Second base. Jose Altuve. So the Houston lineup turns over. Jose Altuve now at the plate. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. There's a strike. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Tosses to first, and that is that. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Down the third baseman, Matt Veerling. And the pitch. That clips the corner. Well, these Tigers doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. That one, 95 to finish him off. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep now that right speed back. off right the base right pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Next offering is in for a strike. Two. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Love how he let that ball now travel, the trusted the his hitter. hands. Nice job of going the other way. Short goal set. Runner on at first with one gone. And now the DH, Spencer Torkelson.
Strike one. Ibanez at first, one gone. Next pitch in the dirt. One and one. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind it. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Devonez around second, headed for third. And he's got a double. Pena with a relay home, and he's out. Jake Rogers up now for the Tigers. And yeah, that's outside. Oh, the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Hey. Here's a strike. I got a ball, one strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. The two-run shot is 16th homer of the year, and they add a pair. It's 6-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. And now here is Riley Green. Oh and downstairs. Left hand batter waits. Ground ball up the middle. Over to first. And the inning is over. Detroit adds two on this homer. And this is now a 6 1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's the Alex Bregman. Number two, Alex Bregman. Yeah, let's go the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And that's in the dirt. And now it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. In the air, left field. Green settles under it. One up, one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming like open instead of staying perfect. closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And first offering is fouled off. Tucker measures six feet, four inches, 200 pounds, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a pop up. Short under it. He's got it. And there's two down. The center field, number 44. 
Jordan Two outs, base is empty. Here's some real power at the plate. You're Don Alvarez. This guy has turned into a beast. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Alvarez is from Cuba. He grew up idolizing a future teammate, Yuli Gurriel, who is 13 years his senior. The pitch. Ball two. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Towards first, Cabrera takes it. it to the bag, third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. Tiger six, and the Astros one. Ronel Blanco will take over here. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Number 56, Ronel Blanco. And now up to hit Miguel Cabrera. Cabrera, 39 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. First pitch, and he just misses. Next oh. offering is down low. Ball two. And a good eye there. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Ball well, can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Hey. Outside corner, there's a strike. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Out towards right center field. Tucker on the move. And out number one on the grab. Now that second base. Zach Short up now for the Tigers. He's already homered in this game. First pitch just misses. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Jose Urquidy getting ready to go. Here comes a pitch. And that one fouled off. The 1 1. Next offering is outside. Got him looking. And there are two outs. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right the there, the way that slider That's made it look. That was just nasty. Oh, Javier Baez up now for the Tigers. He's already homered here in this one. First offering misses the mark. That one missed. Next offering is down low. Aye. And that's in for a strike. The right hander gives up the two out walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So all down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Now 
Meadows in the box again takes a strike. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Safe at second. And now a man into scoring position. This is something that'll happen to him from time to time behind the dish. Uh, the defense is a part of his game he's trying to improve. But right there, just couldn't squeeze it, and it cost him. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Hauls it in after a long run. And that's the third out. Tigers leave one. They lead it, though, 6-1. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Will Vest. He's pitching on two days rest. Now here's the Astros designated hitter Yaner Diaz. He's a catcher by trade but the DH here in this one. The pitch. That one missing inside. And a 1 1. There's a strike. 95 of that one. Bounce to the right side. Short. Whips it to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Ripped on a line. Devon Yetz right there to make the grab. And there's two down. Now back at the first base. Baseman. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Jose Abreu. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. And that's a little high. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tyler Holton getting loose for A.J. Hinch. The 1 0. And that one off the outside edge. And that drops in for a strike. And a 2-1 on the way. That's hard hit in the line. Green makes the catch inning over. 1-2-3 go the Astros. The lead remains 5. It's 6-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the Tiger leadoff man, Matt Veerling. Blanco back to work. And a strike on the outside edge. And it's one and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And the righty deals. Two balls, two strikes.
And now the count filled up three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Ibanez in the box with one away as he takes ball one. That's in there. And the count even at one. Hard ground ball base knock. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Fastball pretty much middle middle and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Now it's the DH Spencer Torkelson one for three that misses and that's ball one on the ground the third might be two. One at second. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Eighth inning coming up. Tiger six, and the Astros one. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, Jeremy Pena. Jeremy. The right-hander back to work. And that's oh, outside. That's Swing and a miss. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. one two and he grounds one to the right side the throw is wild and it gets away and here's the catcher Martin Maldonado Martin Maldonado And a foul ball. Pena gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Oh, and two now. Yeah, that's outside. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Righty to the plate. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Now batter. Jose Altuve up to it here. Altuve. There's a strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. And here it comes. 
This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Cabrera hauls it in for the out. And there's two away. The third base is number two. Alex Bregman. Now it's Alex Bregman. And there's a strike. Oh, and he hit him. Boog, that wasn't even close. You know, sometimes a guy will barely miss the zone and hit someone, but right there, he completely lost the handle, and that's when it gets a little scary. Tucker stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Bullpen activity starting up now. Alex Lang getting loose for A.J. Hinch. Right-handed reliever. First and second, two down. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Stays alive. Foul ball still a one and two count. And now two and two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. And the right hander deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Two on, two outs. And that's downstairs and outside. Your Don Alvarez. Up next for the Astros. Popped up. Baez puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Two left for the Astros. They trail it 6 1. Jose Urquidy gets the ball now, and he's been hit pretty hard at times this year, so he's looking for better. Right now, giving up more than a hit per inning. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Jake Rogers. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. And he deals. And a strike in there. Bounced, and that got the pitcher. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. The comebacker got him down low, and you can really see him favoring the leg. That's his plant leg, which might be a concern, Chris. Yeah, you hope he's got some feeling in that leg so he can land on it, like you said. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay and try to continue, Boo. Riley Green up now for the Tigers. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. The Astros have some action in their pen. Kendall Graveman, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. And he'll one. And that one wrapped foul.
That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a ball popped up. On to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now back. First base. Miguel. Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera up now for the Tigers. Out to center. And it falls. And that extends the inning. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat the stays bat. in the zone the on plane for an extended yeah. period of time. And guys like that... They have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Short. The next to hit takes outside. Cabrera off of first with two away. Line drive, base hit, right center field. And that's going to roll to the wall. The run scores all the way from first. It's 7-1. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Next up for the Tigers, Javier Baez. That's Just missed. Count one and oh. Two outs with a runner at third. Here's a 1-1. Ball in. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Right-hander kicks, deals. Hit hard, base hit. In comes the run from third to add on. It's 8-1. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. And up next for Detroit, Parker Meadows. That one off the mark, ball one. At the belt and fires. Eight. And that one clips the corner. One and one. There's Eight. the strike. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. up to the left into foul ground Bregman is under it that is the inning they get two runs on three hits no errors and one left through eight full it's the Tigers eight and the Astros one so the Tigers get a new arm from the pen Jose Cisnero He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. Now here is your Don Alvarez. The pitch. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. Cisnero, a righty that throws with power. 
He features a four seam fastball, a sinker, a slider, and he works in a changeup. That misses. Two balls, no strikes. Tigers bullpen with some action. Tyler Holton preparing to come on if needed. Righty delivers. Ball three. I got three and oh. And a four-pitch walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. So, a man aboard. So now the Astros' designated hitter, Yaner Diaz. In there for strike one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Kicks and fires. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Rudder at first with no outs here. That misses the zone. Now one and two. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Nice stop. The throw. Short to second. On to first. Save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop. Then a nice feed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. Now the left fielder, Chaz McCormick. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. Found back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Swing, and he breaks his back. Makes the grab, two down. So they're down to their final out. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Abreu. That one hit to right. And that'll do it. The Tigers take this one in a blowout. Clearly the bats came to play today and the pitching and defense as well. We saw some outstanding plays. Great performances all the way around. Just one run allowed. They never gave the other side a chance. And this one finishes with a final of 8-1. to one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomp. Thanks for joining us.